Get ready to match the stars. Nipsey Russell, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley. From eight is enough, Susan Richardson. Richard Dawson and Fanny Fly as we play the star studded Big Money Match Game 78. And now, here's the star of Match Game 78, Gene Raven. Everybody ready? Yep. Jose, ¿qué tal? Sí. <laughs> I hope As you have ending for this. I got the hat, but you don't have the ending. He's Juan Valdez. <clears throat> ¿Cómo está usted? Bene. Yes, he No, bien is Italian. Bien is Espanol. No, bien. bien, sí. I knew sí. I should have worn the other hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's say hello to Katie Schwartz and Major Frost. How's Katie feel? Okay. Katie has six hundred dollars, and she says that makes her feel fine. And now we're meeting Major Frost for the first time. Hi, Jane. That's your real name? Yeah. Major Frost. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you want to tell us about the name? How you got to be named Major? Well, I was named after an uncle. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. And where are you from, Major? Uh, well, originally from Mississippi. Ha <laughs> ha. And you live around here now? Yeah. What Finally do you do? California. Do you like California? Sure. Sure, we all do. Mm -hmm. well, well, what do you do for a living? I'm a cutter in the garment industry. Yeah, that's Make, very big out here in California, yeah. isn't it? Make ladies' clothing. Yeah. You cut ladies' <laughs> clothing. <laughs> so, uh, How many do you cut at a time in a layer? Uh, well, it's up to about 11 inches now. So that's about 70, uh, 72 layers. 72 <laughs> layers. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fabric, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, Major, good luck to you. Thank you. You know how to play this game? Oh, sure. Sure you do. All right, we'll find out in a moment or so after we find out about this. This week in game show history, Beat the Clock premieres with host Bud Collier and Roxanne. The show is so big, Sylvania sells a Roxanne doll with a tiny camera around her neck. And in 54, they both star on The Honeymooners with Ralph and Ed as contestants. Oh, okay. All right, if everybody's ready, here we go. <laughs> Sounds like a thing out of Star it's Wars. By today. <laughs> Can you make it come up again? I want to hear the noise again. Next come on up again. <laughs> oh, Is that a nice here. sound? Yes. There's a string here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that sound. We're all going to take off in space. Now, this is the last time I'm going to do this. What's I that? had to do it last week, get you cleaned up after you got on the oh. <laughs> I must have been rolling around someplace. <laughs> okay, Major, you want A or B? B, please. A is what you get, Major. The Hollywood make. He said B? He was just seeing if you were paying attention. <laughs> B, please. You think you didn't know any better? Are you sure you said B? Sure. Yeah, did he say B? <laughs> How would you know? You're all drunk. <laughs> Larry said, I saw a television show that was so bad, even the laugh track was blanking. Even the, even the laugh track was blanking. Got it. Major Frost, here's the way it is. Larry said, I saw a television show that was so bad, even the laugh track was blanking. Booing. Booing. Okay. One possibility is booing. Okay, Nipsey. That was bad, but this was sad. The laugh track was crying. Crying. <laughs> yes. It was so bad, they were just sobbing and crying. Oh. I'm sorry, crying, but his is better. Yeah. Booing is, uh, seems to be, like, closer to the definitive answer. Well, bad, Susan? Yeah. What, what? Booing. Booing! One for the major. I don't like it, well, Susan. Even the laugh track was... Booing. Booing. <laughs> All right. Now well, you're on the right laugh track, yeah. Major. Major, there. I was in love with a boy for years named Major Jones from Foley, Alabama. And he never looked at me. If you're looking, I hope you're bald. <laughs> <laughs> now, he used to 
cute. Had brown curly hair. Hi, Major. <laughs> Bowie. Good. Well, it started out like a disaster for him and ended up quite well. Now, let's see what we have for you. The Hollywood makeup artist said, I have the world's toughest job. I have to make blank look like a man. <laughs> world's toughest job. Have to make blank look like a man. All right. The Hollywood makeup artist said, Wait a minute. <laughs> That's called creative writing one. <laughs> creative writing two. All right. The Hollywood makeup artist said, I have the world's what toughest job. I have to make blank look like a man. Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch. That would be a challenge indeed, wouldn't it? To make Raquel look like a man. Paul Lynn. Group out there, isn't it? No, I think that's a hostile answer. What do you say? I say I think that's a hostile answer. <laughs> <laughs> I said Raquel Welchel. Okay. There's one for Katie. Farrah Fawcett Frost. Farrah Fawcett <laughs> Frost. Is that a real name? Oh, Majors. Oh, Major Frost. I see. Farrah Frost. Oh, very good. Farrah Frost. Frost. Yes, yes. My back was turned. Farrah Frost. <laughs> Hello there, honey. Hi. Farrah Fawcett Majors. There it is. That would be difficult. Raquel or Farrah, I guess, would be the two. Farrah. Farrah. And what do you say? Raquel. Raquel. Okay. So what do we got here? Three to two. Pretty even game. Round two coming up. First this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this lady had a, a bad seat she couldn't see. So, would you sit right here? Yes. Where are you from? Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque. Hey. You came all the way over here to see us. Yes, I did. Well, well now you got a good view of everybody. There's Richard there, your friends, and, I'm, and you can root for these two. You can applaud and scream and holler. What kind of shot is that? You down on your knees there, camera two. What are you doing there? Yeah. What are you doing to that girl? <laughs> We're just going to carry on and do our regular thing here so Beth can see everything. All right, here we go. Round two coming up. Major, you want A or B? B, please. All right. Everybody ready? No. Nancy sure. said, it's rough being married to a doctor. When I get a headache, he tells me to take two aspirins and blank him in the morning. Let's see. The lower tier does not play, just the upper tier. Just the upper tier. Okay. How do you like it so far? <laughs> you got the idea here, Major? Nancy said it's rough being married to a doctor. When I get a headache, he tells me to take two aspirins and blank him in the morning. Stroke him. Yeah, you said stroke him. Stroke. Hi. Oh, is that what that means? Hi. Yes. Hello. Swimming term. Okay. What do you say? Well, I, I was assuming that this is the aftermath of not tonight, dear. I've got a headache. Make love to him. Well, in the that's moment. what I thought too. Yes. All right, <laughs> Brett. Well, I'm what? far away from all of this. <laughs> all I know is that you call your doctor. He says take two aspirin and call me in the morning. What are you going to No, I think he had the idea. What do you say? Well, I say the chicken and I got the idea. Well, I say you're wrong, Buster. <laughs> I say you're wrong. My okay, boyfriend will so. beat you up if you say I'm wrong. Oh, all right. That means, Major, you remain at three. And, Katie, 
One to tie and two to win. Brett does not play. Fanny, I matched. Fanny does not play. That's the rest of you, please respond to this. Dumb Donald is so dumb. <laughs> That's very good. He once walked up to a Welshman and said, if you're from Wales, where's your blank? <laughs> He once walked up to a Welshman and said, if you're from Wales, where's your blank? Very smart think, outfit, sweetheart. Think softly. Dayton will be very happy. Yes, okay. Dayton is wonderful. Dumb Donald is so dumb, he once walked up to a Welshman and said, if you're from Wales, where's your blank? Where's your spear? You know, the spear? Oh. Spear. You thought he was a harpoonist, the man who writes. Yeah, yes. well, that's the spear. Harpooner the spear. I don't know if that's going to happen over here. If you're from Wales, where's your... Well, a, a, a whale has to come to the surface to, to... Right. And what's that process that he does when he comes up? He, he spouts. <laughs> yeah. Where's your spout? If you're from Wales, where's your spout? Something more closely identified with the whale rather than with the fisherman who catches the whale. What do you say? Thank you, Lloyd Bridges. <laughs> Spout. Okay. If you're from Wales, where's, where's your... your... Where's your rabbit? Your rare bit. Your rabbit. Oh! Well, Good. they pronounce it Welsh rabbit. But you're right. It's a Welsh rabbit. That's an interesting variation on it, isn't it? Where is your blubber? Spout. Spout. So that means Major Frost wins the game. Please. Katie is leaving here with $600. Thank you very and much. Best Thank wishes. You. Katie Schwartz, ladies and gentlemen. There she goes. Go away. Well, they're wheeling this around for you, and there's our big star wheel, and we're all set for you, Major. We polled a studio audience not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this. Independence blank. If you match the answer they gave most often, you get $500. If you match their second most popular answer, you get $250. And if you match their third, you get $100. Three of the six stars will help. Nipsey. Ah, uh, Independence Day. Right. There's one. Charles. Independence Hall. Yeah. Fanny. What do you say, Fanny? Hell. <laughs> Hell. Yeah. Somebody here, give her a little help. Here, here. There are lots of answers floating around. The home of one of our greatest presidents. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought I had to spell. So those are the three they've given you. Independence, Missouri, Independence Hall, and Independence Day. You must choose now one of those or one of your own. Day. You want the day. All right. The Independence Day is what we're looking for. Having a good time? Wonderful. Terrific. Um, let's begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Independence Mo is the one that Fanny gave you. <laughs> let's see what's under the $250 number. Independence Hall. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll Wait, say it's one. up here and kiss me, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you win, it's part of the deal. You gotta go and give it a kiss. <laughs> If you don't kiss them, I don't give you the money. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I'm a-puckering up, then. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Slide it, Ari. Yeah! <laughs> that wasn't much of a kiss. <laughs> you know, when you go up and kiss someone, you gotta go. You gotta go. No. Uh, now, if you win again, you know what you have to do. Okay, you got the $500. You're going to play for 10 times that amount or $5,000. That's the least you can be playing for. But you can double that $5,000 if you have a lucky spin of the star wheel here. 
All of the stars' names are on the wheel, and if it stops within this gold star area, you'll be playing for double or $10,000. It must make one complete revolution, so give it a good hard spin, Major, and good luck to you. And we all gonna root and hope it stops on the double for you. All right, you'll be playing for $5,000 with Susan Richardson, and good luck to you. And Susan, if you're ready, this is it. Blank as rain. Blank as rain. Blank as rain. All right, now she's finished. You give us the answer that matches hers, and we give you $5,000, Major. Right as rain. Yeah. Right as rain. Okay, Susan. He says, right as rain will match you for the money. What do you say to that? Right as rain. Congratulations. You now have $5,600 and a best wishes. Major Frost, he's a big winner. All right, we come back right after these messages. Buzzer invites you to our year-long party. Boy, oh boy. Celebrating 75 years of TV's greatest game shows. Only on Buzzer. Let's play. Today's consolation prizes are first. Billy the Kid, passion coordinates for boys of all ages and toddlers to tea. Billy the Kid Boys Wear, available in all leading stores. And from Cody, a gift collection of Masumi fragrances. Masumi, the essence of inner beauty by Cody. And Franciscan Sea Sculptures Dinnerware. Timeless beauty and durability with a fragile look of China. Six patterns in sand and white. Sea Sculptures by Franciscan. And Hires Root Beer. After a hundred years, America's original root beer is still number one. Hires, the great American root beer. Play the match game now with our star, Gene Rayburn. Thank you, Johnny O. Here we go. Let's welcome LaVon Wiggins. There's a new player here. How are you, LaVon? Fine, thank you. Before we begin the competition here with the champ, who's very happy with his $5,600, yes. we have to find out a little bit about you, if you please. Well, I'm recently divorced. I have two beautiful children. One's, yeah. one's three, well, well, be three in July, and one will be two in September. Okay, you live in this area somewhere? Yeah, San Fernando Valley. Okay, nice to have you with us, LaVon. Thank you. Good luck to you. <laughs> Hello, doctor. Okay, you may have A or B. B, please. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? We're ready. The executive of the estate said to Ted, I've got good news and bad news. Uh -huh. The good news is you've just inherited a million. The bad news is it's a million blank buttons. <laughs> a million blank buttons. Button. Buttons. Buttons. A million blank buttons. A million buttons. blank buttons. Hello, LaVon. Hey there. Wait, wait. <laughs> One sec. Well, let me explain to LaVon here. Uh, well, no, I guess I can't ex do any explaining there. As soon as Brett's finished. The executive of the estate said to Ted, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is you've just inherited a million. The bad news is it's a million blank buttons. Um, belly buttons. <laughs> that would be bad news, wouldn't it? Have you ever heard of old discarded campaign buttons, election buttons and all that? You never have heard no. of that. I see. Okay, Nipsey. Diaper buttons. Diaper buttons, yeah. Diaper buttons. They don't use pins anymore. They don't? No, no, no. They got buttons on their diapers now. They do. You didn't know about that? No, I didn't. You haven't been looking into the situation. No, I haven't. I haven't. It's time for a change, but I'm, not a, I'm never around. What do you say? Now, this is an answer that uh, some people are not going to get, but you will explain it. A million Landon buttons. Remember <laughs> Alf Landon? 
Alf Landon was perhaps one of the most soundly defeated presidential candidates <laughs> this country out. has ever seen. Maine and Vermont. Right. He took two states. Maine as, Vermont. As Fred, as Fred <laughs> Allen at the time said, because, you know, there was an old saying, as Maine goes, so goes the nation. Fred said, as Maine goes, so goes Vermont. <laughs> and at the time... <laughs> Very good imitation. <laughs> Hello there. Uncle Gene, tell us more of America's history. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Sure. Thank you. Shirt buttons there. Well, so far, Landon Buttons is... Is the best. Is you the have best. to admit it. Now we'll see what we've got here. Bad luck. Well, whenever we did something weird little and we were real proud of it, my mom would say, what do you want, a Wilkie button? A Wilkie button. He was another presidential candidate who was defeated. Not as badly as Alf Landon. Wilkie Button, an old Wilkie Button would be good. Whenever we taped something that our mom didn't want us to tape, she'd say, what do you want, Nixon Button? <laughs> <laughs> she sold yes. them for $19.95. <laughs> and I hear they're selling, yes. Belly. Oh, well. Fanny, you amaze me. Amazing. Okay, Major, hang around here. We got one for you. Now this for you. Up next, Peter Tamarkin pulls out all the stops and tries to help his contestants avoid the dreaded whammy. But is he a better host than Gene? You're not going to put me on camera. No, I wouldn't put you on camera. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we are. It's time to say goodbye. Would you say goodbye? Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, my dear. Until parting is such sweet sorrow. Goodbye. You were wonderful. Join us next time for Match Game 78. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 78, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. This program was edited for broadcast.